Hello everyone. Greetings. It is Saturday evening. It is another time for another Year Trek 2 convoy in with Primods. And this time it's just a regular convoy. No blind blundering here. Well, I mean, we don't intend to blunder blindly this time. Whether or not we actually do blunder blindly, who knows. Um, we've got GPS access, so may as well not. So who's here? <laughs> we have got uh, VGR in voice chat. Hello. 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 We have got American Gamer. Hello. Hello. We've got myself. Hello. We've got Sharadice. Hello. Also known just as also, S, apparently. Also, just <laughs> as you. And Slurbic oh. Eagle. Uh, hello. hello. Just as you said, American Gamer, his truck popped into existence. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Right, so, Kanga, are you gonna take a trailer this time or not? Nah. Okay. Um, Eagle, would you please do the honors of resetting least, the time? At least not at the moment. Also, isn't Swedar oh, I wasn't, wasn't wanted Swedar. to, but he said he can't uh, after all. Uh, it's night! It's morning. No. 5 a.m. Yes. It looked like pitch black night for look, the first it's, it's few five. frames. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have Thank access you. to brewing, Eagle? Uh, in Minecraft? No, not yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and I didn't even have, like, I had, like, half gold half iron armor as well mm. well having a bit of gold yeah. on you is good because then the pig the piglins don't attack. yes no shadows exactly. meant brewing and ets too also you've got it set to miles <laughs> per hour still kind of oh yeah i have thank you well it's green now i don't want to wait around ah uh, yeah excuse I'll, I'll me you just teleported into me whoever that is and it says American on it, so probably I, I can guess who, who that is. Remember, guys, headlights on. Yeah. It's too dark to not have headlights on anyway. Alright. Uh, so, in chat, we've got Rooms Bath, I say. Uh, starting soon. Uh, hello. Hiya, just posting mods. We'll start stream soon. Rooms Bath sleeps. Uh, one left done. No, just joking. Okay. Kengo. Yes. You're on the wrong side of the Adriatic Sea. Oh, bother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come over. So, we are transporting metal coils from bar to co cos cosis cosis how, how do you pass that Franz eagle koshitze koshitze <laughs> yes okay so we're going from bar to koshitze yes indeed i'm just boarding the ferry hold on no don't leave yet <laughs> don't close your gate on me i'm imagining the ending to <laughs> what's up doc yeah yeah Basically. <laughs> well, ending-ish. Yeah. Um, uh, I say, yeah, okay. Live. Thanks, Rumspath. VGR says Lisa. Uh, Abobrups, Clara is trapped in. We have snacks. We have music. Wheels are balanced. We are ready. Perfect. Right. Clara is trapped in. In a, in a Dalek again. <laughs> for the second time. <laughs> well, <laughs> third time it would be because it was already two times yeah was it yeah the first time when she was souffle girl when they didn't actually see her face and the second time Suf when mm. when it was uh missy who uh tried to convince the doctor that it was actually just an regular dalek i don't remember oh that still says georgia on it why why does that say georgia well, i don't know you've just covered bar i mean on the nameplate I put Georgia back, back when I bought this bus. I don't know. Can we be going? Going? <laughs> I'm coming. Kango, there is a service go. station over in Bar if you want to change your plates. Thank you, yeah. But we're already 13 minutes late, I so know. perhaps we should uh, just get started. Maybe. Uh, 
It's, so it's still laggy, even though we started. Oh well. <laughs> you missed the you missed the <laughs> the street. <laughs> Okay, so Kango is desyncing quite a bit on my side. Yeah, it's because I'm yes. because because it's lagging for me. Okay, so then I'll probably stay far behind others because I don't want uh, Okay, so then Eagle yesterday to happen again. Yesterday was yeah. a lovely day. It was, but for you. But not for us in a video game. Nope. In the Ouija game. I mean, honestly though, I did enjoy that a lot still, even though there was the crash, which was unfortunate. I did enjoy the, the driving a lot and the pro mods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard you had to scrap a video. Yeah. It's, it's simply like the way I record stuff. Yeah, but it didn't really matter. Hmm. Also, I think the name tags on the map are actually always... I, I think they're I less... I love the AI. Yeah. I see. I think they're actually less desynced than the actual models of the trucks, because I think... Yeah. I think even if it displays the truck somewhere, it can display the name tag on the GPS somewhere else, and there... Like if you just look at the name tag, you can more easily tell if you're inside another player or not. Or like where the other players are. Oh! Hey, what happened there? That car was in the inner lane, and it just turned off right into me as I was next to I the didn't car. I see it. Did you see that hey, in your mirror? Yes, stupid. Did you see that in your mirror, yeah. Eagle? No, I didn't see it. But oh. I know exactly what happened. Like, the car was in the inner lane, I was in the outer lane, and then the car just decided to just turn off into me when turning off. Yeah. Luckily, I don't think I actually took any damage from that. Hmm. Roomspot says, is it possible to see the route on the map? Uh, yeah, you can press uh, M while That's you're moving, even. That's and a good call, yeah. And press tab to zoom out. Yeah, but if I'm moving, I'll crash if I just show the map for ages. What? Why? I want to concentrate where I'm driving. Hold on, I'll just quickly nip into here, take off the plate, and then head out again. One second. Uh, yeah, I am not streaming, but I am recording, so... And I, I've gone through the map view, I believe, so... Even if you don't, I guess it's a possibility to watch it on my side, but yeah, that's up to you guys, of course. I'll just, yeah, okay. Um, at Rumen's Buff says, yeah, what I already said. So if you just look at the map, this is Montenegro, a city called Bar. Right on the coast, you can get a ferry to Italy, to Bari. <laughs> Look at that, Bar and Bari. <laughs> um, goes along here. Dubrovni, du Dubrovnik, sorry. Um, Mostar, so across quite a few countries. Zenica, just a bunch of countries. Not sure on the exact route, but we'll see. It's going up here to Kosice in Slovakia. I think I've said that correctly. Yes, you did. Thank you. Also, it's so nice of you to deliberately go slowly so the others can catch up. Yep. I always do this. Thank you. That yeah. is appreciated. E even in Delivery Detective, and that is very appreciated. <laughs> 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 You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I basically do this all the time, even when recording the off-stream videos. I pretty much, just when I notice that people are falling behind, I just uh, slow down a little. Yeah. So that they can catch up. That is but nice. The, the, the way I record the videos is that I want to avoid as many HUD elements as I can. Yeah. Like all the interface and stuff. 
mm -hmm. because I like it clean so in this game. Mm -hmm. So do you use the in-cab GPS then? Yep. Yeah. That car is going awfully slow, so I'm going to go anyways. It's in a turning lane anyways. Rooms buff says, yeah. interesting, thanks. Uh, VGR Elisa, time. It is 7.20 a.m. on a Saturday, which actually, it's actually a Saturday in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The day of Saturn. Lovely. Da, da, da. Yeah, I'm in a city bus, so, <laughs> well. That's You're quite limited on speed anyways. <laughs> apparently. I should have perhaps picked an, a different vehicle. Also, oh, you didn't switch. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. Yeah, we've got some uh, waypoints. Should be turning left here. Oh, this is lovely. No, I saw you guys went right. Is it? Yeah, it's. No, we can't go right because the road doesn't even continue that way. <laughs> yeah, it's blocked off. Oh, VGS is ready. I can see the time on your dash. Oh, yeah. Um. Room spot says Saturnia. I'm actually driving the new man that they've released recently. I have... You're driving the new man? What? Yes. Insane. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Crash. But yeah, it's quite nice. I like the displays, I like the way the GPS is like located and <laughs> just the general arrangement of the truck. Like, I can actually see the speedometer now properly without it being blurry because it's just big enough great I have driven it as well a bit I, I did like it I also like the proximity indicators on the mirrors where like the oh, yeah. edges around it flash when there's a car next to you yeah the dead zone sensors uh -huh. is that synced or I not? have them installed what I don't think that's synced what? I don't think because it's, I believe it just appears in the inside view because yeah, there's just the a light point. on the inside of the cab. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But I think you should be able to at least see visually from outside that there is a difference in the model. Hmm. Maybe. Mm hmm. Because it's, it's like located on the pillar on the inside where the uh, front windshield is. Just ah. a little white light that shines orange <laughs> Oh! when uh, the sensor is active. Hmm. I didn't know. And it that. activates. It activates not only when vehicles are next to you, but also if you are close to a wall, or for example. So it basically, just checks for colliders. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very nice because that's what the real sensor would do, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elisa says headlights on. Oh look, an ad for ETS2. <laughs> <laughs> Could have advertised promotes instead. Nah. I mean, one thing actually, like... When you already have Eurotruck, you know, the game, if I put advertisements for the game in the yeah. game... They should have put bus know, driver just... adverts. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> now that would have been fun. Nostalgia trip. Get bus driver. <laughs> yeah, if you've ever had it before. If not, discover a new game. Discover the one and only game from SEO Software where you drive a bus. That totally doesn't mm. have outdated graphics for anyone who doesn't have nostalgia for it. They should try. <laughs> they should remake the game. Yeah, yeah. that would be oh, fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is there's not a lot of good bus games out there. Mm. There's honestly yeah. two. Yeah, and that has its issues as well. Yeah, yeah. and the newer boss games that, will, that have been released really seriously are literally just Unreal Engines. Yeah, apart from Lotus, so which basically uses the same OMSI 2 engine, which with just a few... I don't know technically, but it just seems like it's still OMSI 2. This is a case for technicallys! Mm. <laughs> Yeah, they all still are, you know, pretty much quite buggy and stuff, mm. you know. And the way that they've just they've just been releasing is that well it's just new buzz game every now and then, you know, just like mm. every year a new 
past game and then just abandon the previous version with all the bugs left in it's there. Bus Simulator more. 2024 or something. Yeah. It's from the from that series, like the same series from 2016, just 2018, 2021, I think, and then and so on. It's basically more or less the same game, it's, uh, as far as I know. Oh, oh this is the turn. Oh. oh. Which destination are we gonna choose at this ferry? Haha. <laughs> Grimsby? Ah, oh, yes. Absolutely. We're taking the ferry to Prague. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was animated and it's just a ferry flying over the entire map <laughs> to Prague. <laughs> Like with the cuts, like the letterboxing cut, cut scene bars as well going down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Lugia says, uh, departed. See you guys there. Indeed. Um, this lovely scenery. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say the same thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually um. enable... Blockers. I, oh, now you can change it to KPH as well. Oh, yeah. I'll just enable the blockers quickly. Show blockers. Well, disable, I mean. KPH. Kilometers. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, a remake of Bus Driver. It would be nice. I'm not sure how much of the charm of the original they'll still be able to maintain with the current graphics, but... Mm, I don't know. I think you could. I think you could maintain a lot of the charm, if you wanted to. Could yeah, but it is a diff. It would be a different team most likely. Mm. I and mean, Pavel is still the same. Pavel or Pavel. Pavel, wahrscheinlich. Wahrscheinlich. <laughs> <laughs> probably. It's probably Pavel. Yeah, for some reason, Pavel. around this part, um, around the ferry near bar, the game just crashes. My game just crashes for some reason. Huh. Like it's mm. running out of memory. Try teleporting over instead. Can you yeah, that's what I did. Can you allocate okay. more memory to the game? Oh, that is the I'm issue. literally maxing out. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. But yeah, like, I mean, I, at one point, I think either last year or the year before, I don't know. Most likely it's the car mod. Hmm. Hmm. I did, yeah, I did start a little prototype for just to see if I could mechanically make a, a sort of a, a bus game like making the scenery and stuff like that Unity? Yeah, and that did go mostly well but the thing is most of the work to do on that game would be making scenery and that is already what I'm doing in trains and so when I start making a video game again that's not a, a DLC then I'd really prefer prefer to make a game that's more than mostly just making scenery. Mm. Yeah, I mean, any constant, pretty much majority of the game development is just making scenery, anyways. Hmm. Would it be the same with the bus or the train game you started? Uh, well, I didn't start the game. I. I made a test to see if I could get and the tracks ply, track splines to work correctly with the procedural mesh generation and all that. And a train car. Mm. Um, partly yes, partly no. Also another thing to consider is how long it would take for the game to be finished. Um, True. So yeah. So would you do game development live streams on your next game as well. Depends what it is. If it's something very linear, then no. Because, well, that would just spoil the game. But if it is something more sort of procedural, then probably yes, because that was a lot of fun. It was. Especially that last stream you did, where Mr. Snipes also came and mm -hmm. we did that hut, like that yeah. hag, what? Swamp hag hut or something? Or like it was just a swamp hut. 
Yeah. Yeah, with that creature inside that also, also faced the camera that was mm -hmm. sometimes there and sometimes wasn't. That was so nice. It was lovely. And the American gamer has taken the lead. <laughs> well, I'm in front, technically. Yeah. That's what I said, the American gamer. I'm not American. It's raining again, it a serious game. I swear to god, every single time I play this game, it has to rain. It's getting so annoying. The rain is nice. Let's turn the rain probably down. Yeah, I already did. And I keep doing that constantly every single time after I finish recording because in every single video I get rain. But the rain is nice. Turn off rain. Hmm. Can't go straight there. Yeah, I could have figured that out. <laughs> I just saw him. Have you guys reached the border yet? Where? What? Have you guys reached the border yet? Not. I think we're just crossing yes, the border. Yeah, the border, yeah. Okay, good. That means I've caught up. Dubrovnik. Almost there. We, are, we, are, we have crossed the border. We're not in Dubrovnik yet. Uh, Rumsbuff says Stop. Beautiful scenery. Sea near mountains. I agree. Yeah. So what would you what would people rather like to see? A well bus driver remastered or the Eurocoach simulated DLC for ETS two? Uh probably the Eurocoach oh. I would probably <laughs> say the Eurocoach simulated DLC. Because if you imagine just Eurotruck with that beautiful map that's being updated, that huge map, which would probably also support pro mods and you just have actual bus stops where people walk around and get into the bus and sit down and that sort of thing. And you actually have that. I think that that just offers so much more gameplay Potential. than if Bus Driver would be remastered. Although Bus Driver remastered would be a lot of fun as well, of course. Mm -hmm. But I think the... Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, finish, finish, finish. Uh, no, I was pretty much finished. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Anyways, yeah, yeah. um, what, what I've been, you know, considering like this, what I think would be good, like, to get both. Because with Eurocoach, you're pretty much doing rather international, you know, code mm -hmm. stuff. Maybe a little bit of domestic, basically, like Fernbus. Mm -hmm. No, but in a better, higher quality map with better higher quality vehicles and physics better higher quality physics and sounds and everything honestly and then there is basically bus driver which was pretty much mostly city bus driving mm -hmm. uh -huh. so that is a good point you know and if we could have both it's... then i would opt for that as well of course but yeah yeah Although if... But what, what <laughs> I think they... I mean, if they would remaster Bus Driver, then a good addition would also be basically like a free play or in a sense Definitely. create your own life. Oh yeah, like Bus Simulator rival. 2. That mm -hmm. had a, a line create. Even though the game itself, mm, the graphics weren't the best and the cover art lied, just blatant lie, was a UK first bus on the cover art and that was nowhere to be seen in game. Um, but yeah, that had a line creator, and you could create your own lines on the map, and then you could drive them. Hmm. So Which game was that? Bus Simulator 2. Oh, okay. I've ne never heard the, the, the other one, so... It may have had a different name as well. It was... It had quite... Yeah. It didn't have that bright of... Like, the lighting in game wasn't that bright. It was quite dark-ish. Like, they... Yeah. Yeah. A bit drab. Hmm. Tell me when you've all caught up and I can speed up again. Hmm. 
if I manage to get up this hill. <laughs> it's yeah. not the most powerful engine that I've put into this. Mm -hmm. I will link the game later on after the stream. Hey, I, I managed to get up the hill, right. and I haven't changed or modded this truck pretty much since I first bought it. <laughs> Fair enough. Except for the compass, of course. Mm. The rain has mm -hmm. stopped. Woohoo! I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Has stopped. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the D-Bus World buses. I mean, the client uh, for, from D-Bus World doesn't work on macOS, it's only developed for Windows, so the actual mechanical part of actually doing deliveries and like stopping bus stops and, st and such doesn't work on macOS, but the bus themselves do, like the OMSI2 convert buses. Like the one I shall now, now accelerate. Yeah, so yep. I... Thank you. I don't, yeah, I don't have any experience playing with the actual client and the deliveries and stuff, like the... where you can like do bus <coughs> routes around the map, but... The bars themselves have been converted very well, very nicely. Ah, oh, lovely bridge. Mm-hmm. Dubrovnik. Uh, <laughs> I just like to say that I didn't even know the sun was shining, so I was looking at my uh, graphics, I was looking at the shadows, I was like, wait, where did my shadows go? <laughs> 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 my game loaded graphics on music. <laughs> but no, it's right in front of the trucks. Yeah. It's like a... That's crazy. <laughs> Netherlands. I was getting nervous there for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looked like the Netherlands flag, but no, it has something on it. Nope, is it the flag of Croatia? Yeah. Without the coat of arms and with slightly different colors, basically the Netherlands flag. <laughs> <laughs> Fiat 600. Oh, Bastro is not even here. Is that a, a marker on the left there or not? To, to open the gate? Uh, doesn't seem so. No, there isn't. No, it's not. That's a car thing. Is there anyone else in chat? Oh, is there a car? Oh, I didn't even no. see that car. That was in my blind spot. <laughs> that was in Watch my blind spot. What's up with the bus behind you? Yeah, the bus I did see. You hit it anyways. Did I? <laughs> Yes. Oh, my it's side. On my uh, side, there was distance. The bus reversed back. Hmm. It's good. Oh, now it's coming again. Careful. I just stole my engine. You uninstalled oh, your engine. Game. Good idea. <laughs> oh man. Literally. I hate it when I accidentally uninstall my engine. <laughs> uh, oh man, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Although that also that also applies to trains. <laughs> <laughs> also, my dashboard just says inner ECU error. It's because I'm da mm. damaged. You know, this would mm. be far more efficient if they had like five of these booths or ten, so that a batch of ten cars could check their papers at the same time. But there's a rock. And then they and then they all go at once in in batches. Hmm. Actually, does a pie have enough money for that? Uh, well, first of all, Shannon, I space and money. Yeah, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And staff, of course. Plus, it, yeah, yeah. But yeah, bus driver had both, like it had coach stuff and it had like proper, well, city cool, bus. Yeah, city buses. Look. Even uh, prison bus stuff. Prison bus, yep. city bus, school bus, and coaches. And even like mountain pass. <laughs> it had a mountain, like there was in mm. the southeast bit of the map, in the snowy area, they had the normal motorway, the highway, just going across, like uh, over the top of it. And they had that really narrow mountain pass that you went on in, I think, mm. one mission like with the yeah red gmc rts with the really yep. small one yeah that was such a that was uh, i think that was one of the trickiest 
uh, trips in the game. Yeah, especially if you wanted to be on time. Yeah. <laughs> right, Eagle? <laughs> Stop giving me PTSD. <laughs> hmm. No hum in here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, villager. <laughs> Thank you. And eh, that's a red. Okay, I'll decelerate slightly. You don't need to, there's another checkpoint ahead. Is the traffic light showing a danger oh, okay. aspect? In that case, I shall accelerate. <laughs> uh, what can go? Is the traffic light showing a danger aspect? Yes, it was. <laughs> but yeah, articulated buses would be nice as well for this game. Oh boy. There was that one mod for ATS1. Yeah, there was. Would that replace the Apples trailer with. Uh, Among others, but the Apples yeah. one could be easily remembered, yeah. I remember that. That was the London spec Mercedes Benz Citaro, and it did not have a custom cab, but it was still lovely. They even converted multiple bus driver buses for ETS 1, remember? Yeah. They had the Cetra, uh, the, like the yellow, the small yellowy coach. They had the Red Clips Gemini and uh, the Renault Agora and that other Mercedes 0405 esque bus. That's an inter interesting wheel arrangement. 0405. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, it's red for me as well, the signal. Well, the. It is a signal. Yeah. Guess so. Yeah, on the like on the traffic signs that we've got here, it does say traffic signal. Good. Oh, like in the UK. Does it? Mm. Yeah, like if there are roadworks or something, they'll they'll put up a sign that says um, I think new traffic signal ahead or something like that. Really? Yeah. Don't remember that. Like those big orange signs they put down on the road ahead of the. The new traffic signal. Wasn't it new traffic light? Nope, it's signal. Well, it says stop here when red shows. That's not what I mean. Yeah. The signs I mean specifically say signal. Hmm. Don't remember that. Why is there a 70 limit just as we go through this town? And then it goes up to 80 in the town. Interesting. <laughs> There is a sign at the entrance in the country which tells you the limits. You guys don't pay attention? Uh, that's, uh, what? That has absolutely nothing to do with what has just been said. But yes, indeed, that when you enter the country it says the speed limits. And in yeah. fact, Croatia had, I just passed the sign, 50 in a town. Yeah, but here... Fortunately, the game still so shows 70 and 80. Yeah, and this so, little town... And then as we're crossing yeah, it's over, then it goes down to 50 as we're merging onto the highway. <laughs> That's so it's possibly been wrongly configured or something, I don't know, I haven't passed where mm. Shardice has been yet. But yeah, thank you very much for... The input. Yeah. <laughs> Bus stop. No, that was not a command, Kango. <laughs> Yeah, you're coming up to the bit now, Eagle. This is lovely, though. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I see. Yeah, there is a sign that says that you are in a city now, or in a town, but the speed limit does not go down. Mm -hmm. That rhymes. So, yeah, it, it was incorrectly... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Rimsvat says, I would like to walk there. From all the way from where you are, you'd like to walk all the way there. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we don't know Ambitious. where <laughs> Yeah, especially considering that Doggerland has been under the ocean for like 9,000 years at this point. I mean, technically speaking, if you do not stop walking on the ferry... <laughs> 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 Although, you know? with, with that logic, you could also just not stop walking on an airplane, just going back and forth and back and forth. 
Yeah, unfortunately, the flight attendants will force you to stop. <laughs> hey, but so that's... the best option is a train. Because even the bus yeah. driver will tell you to sit down. Or coach driver. Yeah, tell you in, yeah. in air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> tell you. Sit down or get out. <laughs> Metkovic. Interesting traffic jam. Yes. All the places. It tastes of elderberries. Border control. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Rumors path says, yeah, yeah. Also, are there olive trees? I don't know. It looks more. It looks more attractive to me. <laughs> but yeah, probably. I mean, this is the country of olive trees, pretty much. Also, the bus I thought that was. <laughs> I thought that was Greece. Yeah, like this entire bit, like olive tree county. Well, it's not. But anyway, the bus I have actually fits fairly well because it is the Athens paint job for the Solaris Urbino, which Athens isn't that far away. Is Athens in this game with them? Uh, no, no. Uh, it's just a bit of. It's Th Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki is in the game. Yeah, here we're in a town again, and it's again 80 kph going through these houses. I guess it's just because it's such a short little bit, and on the map, like from a map point of view, it's actually just a country road. Maybe they put in the houses later when the speed limits had already been put in or something. Strange. Usually the house come first and then the road. Hmm. Genko, just so you know, you're relatively quite <laughs> far away from Athens. Yeah, true. That is true. But yeah, the, temp oh, the temples on the Acropolis were actually built on the old Athens from the Bronze Age, oh. which, uh, when it collapsed, all fell into ruins, but then they they built that on top of that. Hmm. Uh, I see. VGR says, uh, Rooms bath, we're in the limbo between the temperate and Mediterranean zones. Unsure if it's the olive trees there, or here. Uh, Rooms bath says, yes. I have no idea I what mean, that is. You can grow them say. here. I mean, along the. I, I would say that along the entire coast of the Adriatic Sea, considering that. You get olive trees far up north in Italy as well. So, I wouldn't mind if they had olive trees here in this, uh, on, on the coast of Adriatic Sea. But we are quite far inland now as well. Yeah, I wouldn't mind either. So, yeah. Okay, and I will slow is down. That is back as you. Huh? So what? It looks like a car was backing up right into you. It was because I touched it and then it tried to free itself even though it wasn't really stuck. See, it's back. <laughs> it keeps following me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna slow down until you catch up. Thank you. Uh, yeah, see the gas station stop it or did you pass it already? Hmm? Oh, you passed uh, yeah, the gas passed station it. already. Mm. Hmm. It's not no. marked on the map. Not by much though. Uh. Well, that section of the M6 to the left looks quite interesting. It's just a short bit, but that does look interesting. It does. But yeah. Also, it seems like this city bus doesn't even have a RPM counter. It, just it doesn't need to, it's automatic. Yeah, it's got a just a normal uh, speed speedometer. But yeah, it is automatic in real <coughs> life, but I have set, I've still got set as sequential, so I, it's technically manual, even though in real life it would be an automatic. Essentially, in real life it would bus. be semi-automatic, actually, thinking about it, because mm. in... Uh, you're driving the Solaris, right? Yeah. 
the same one used to drive in my city and I remember, well if I remember correctly, it does have the automatic gearbox which is reverse, neutral and then D for drive but it also has options of 1, 2, 3 this on the gears. Yeah, this one doesn't have 1, 2, 3 buttons. Mm. It just has... Uh, it has pace for 3 more but it uh, just says R, N and D. Mm. So... Yeah, Essentially, Kango has a pedal shifter bus. <laughs> <laughs> also known as a dual clutch bus. Oh my Does God. anyone need fuel or anything? Oh, I just passed it. Uh, I'm yeah. good. No, I'm good as well. I'm also good, but you're yeah, still quite spread out. I mean, you're good, but what about the yeah. truck? I'm, lit I'm literally doing 30 in a 60. Mustar discovered. Mustar. Cursor. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. The, Mango, you alright? It threw me. It threw me cursor out. It's alright. Totally caused minimal damage. All I saw. All I saw was you flying. You went flying. Ooh. On my end. Strange. That did Can't not go. happen for me. <laughs> I just I just slightly slammed into the left uh, guardrail for me. But that's decent, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah. I need to speed up. Repair shop, yes, please. <laughs> I need to speed up. Wait, no, stop and take a detour. I suppose that might be why you need to speed up. Yeah. Repair my bus. I command thee. I need to continue right away. Most hard discovered. Oh, that's a bit of a bug. There, yeah. There's a... There's a, a bit of texture there. That's floating. It's like a bit of detail texture behind me there. Yes. There, you can see that. Texture? Yeah, under my trailer. That de oh, you can see that's the detail texture. Oh, that's weird. Right. Do you that's see it, Eagle? Yeah, I see it. It's on the intersection. It's really strange. Yeah, it's where I am currently. And yeah. there's also one of those in ATS in the phase two of the California rebuild by one of the toll stations. And I've reported it, and they did. They did assign it uh, an ID, so they do. They are aware aware of it. Railway so, to the right. Yeah, hopefully it'll be fixed soon. Choo choo. <laughs> That'd be fun. That's team mm -hmm. trains in this. Yeah, they, they do have a few I mean, look, models. They even had a bus steam train driver. bus driver, so it, it can't yes. be that hard <laughs> to. They had a locomotive, with yeah. But yeah, if they just bothered to. If they bothered to, uh, they have model. They've even modeled one for the Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC, like one of the Russian steam locomotives. If they actually just bothered to animate the, like the valve gear on that, like, yeah, if they rigged it, that'd be so nice. If it just spawned uh, as one of the trains. But yeah. Mm. Mercedes Benz truck dealer discovered. I think you've gone too far in that case. Have I? Oh, Germany. Oh, Prague. <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> You're back in Paris, Gango. What are you doing in Paris? Paris? Yeah, you got lost. Ah. Uh, at least I can take any other any roads to go to Rome. <laughs> Which isn't, well... I mean, it's closer. Yeah, well, it's closer than Prague. Uh, Roomspuff says, Charles, how's the MBR doing? Yeah, it's going well. I've now finished all of the root improvements of, on the MBR, so that's all done. Uh, at nope. the, so at the moment, it's just a question of repainting assets. Uh, train assets, I mean. So that's the mm. Fairbanks Smarts? Uh, not yet. Are you getting many quids? Hmm? The what? Are you getting money quids on it? No, it's not finished yet. It's not on Steam. 
But, um... You can speed up. Thank you. Well, there's a caravan overtaking you right now. Not, Not anymore. anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so at the moment... So I started reskinning the Auron F7. That's... Yeah. Literally 21 years old at this point. Yeah, but it's performance friendly. It is. And then Kango suggested I should get in touch with Trainboy1 to see if I could get permission to reskin some of his uh, high, quali high quality assets. Uh, assets like the F7. And so I've been in touch, and he said that generally he's open to repaints. And so I've started uh, kind of trying to transfer the repaint over to that, but the UV layout for his F7 is a bit confusing. So I. The last thing I did on it was I put a grid of numbers on, so XY numbers. Uh. Um, so then I wanted to load it in trains so I can see which numbers appear where on the actual model to figure out which bits go where. Yeah. Now oh, that's lovely, the little railway bridge above. Never mind. <sighs> I thought this might be a secret road, but... Apparently not. Roomspot says, nice to hear. Yeah, and when I've got uh, a few locomotives and hopefully also cars reskinned. Cars? Yeah. Train then, cars? Yes. Then it will be time to have some session making live streams. Ooh. Lovely. Will you also repaint uh, one of the speeders from Dave's, Dave's nose speeders? Uh, if I need it in a session, yes. Come on, we've got, a, we, we've, we've got an 80 speed limit here, Eagle, in the city. Yes, yeah, because just because the speed limit is that high doesn't mean you have to go that fast. I know, but it still seems rather interesting. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Becco. Highway. Yeah. Hi, Becco. Hi, Becco. One yeah. thing. That I've been like thinking about because well, so you said that you won't, you will be reskinning Trainboy ones, uh, F7s and F3s and stuff that he released, but those are PBR. Yeah. So I'm kind of like. Uh, I mean, they surprised load. Surprised that they work properly for like, you. Most PBR assets do work just fine. It's just uh -huh. certain assets, <coughs> Katanari, <coughs> that doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, mean? I have no idea why that doesn't work mm. because the, like, mm. the, 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 the way that catenary is made is the exact same way the other catenary that works for you is. So it's there's strange. absolutely no reason why it shouldn't work for yeah, you. I mean, d although I haven't tried loading those catenary assets in Service Pack 5 yet on Tiers 19. So maybe mm. it's fixed, who knows? Hmm. Maybe. You can try, I guess. Yeah. Break pressure. Oh look, there's a little ladder on the right eagle. Yeah, I That's see. such a nice little detail. Ladder? Mm -hmm. That? That stairs. Yes, I didn't mean that. I meant that there, the ladder you just almost crashed. Yeah, that one. <laughs> ladder? Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. Do you know what the who the author was for those Kraus Maffei engines that you really liked, Eagle? Oh, uh, no, no idea. Mm, that's something I'll have to look up. Because if I could risk up that, I wanted to look over the edge of the river. Uh, yeah, but if I could risk in those, that would be lovely. For AI or for player? Ahem. <laughs> Sorry. For player. Not me. Happen. Yeah, but they don't have custom cabs. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Mm. Is this working? What's this? Yeah, when SCS... You know how they've got that quite small coach bus in the traffic, like the Thames Opalin coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it would be nice when they actually do release the Eurocoach simulator if they actually added a drivable, more detailed version of that. Hmm. Would be nice. <laughs> Like with fictional coach company brands as well. Like inspired by real life ones. Like in ATS, they have got multiple skins for that for that coach, like for the slightly modified ATS version of the coach. But for ETS2, they're all just like solid color ones without any brands on them or text on them. Which I'm not really sure why. I don't know. Like in ATS, they also have the Farland Farland's coach, which is basically Greyhound. Careful here, I don't think the right side has a marker to stop them. Zenica. Mm. Oh, is it automate? Is it automatic on the right then? Yep. Ah, it's an automatic. Are we just then? I don't think that you'll be able to lose me. That's not the that's not the plan yet. Well then, why did you say I'll be the same? Because you are now in my mirror. Also, you I'm didn't... leaving you in second place. Also, you didn't indicate. Uh, there's no. Oh, you lost ten magic. points, Eagle. <laughs> Shut up! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... And they're just like, Do you know what? I don't want them to remaster Bus Driver after all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Rumspelt says, Can't wait! It'll be fun to watch. Yeah! Do not take the middle. Yes, Do not a... take the middle. Yes, there's a bus there. It's the exact same problem that uh, we've had on the last stream. When we went into Russia, just stopped past the checkpoint. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah don't take the middle. Is... Oh, I know how to fix 70? it. I know how to fix it. Hmm. You can attempt to push it, but yeah, it's not gonna start moving. A pity. Is the issue in that specific AI vehicle? No, it, it, it was a different type of bus last time. Ah, uh, really? I thought it was that. Yes. New Plan nope. Skyliner. Nope, it was some kind of, I think it was a gazelle or like, the, 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 um, blah, 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 the modded Russian bus that comes with promos. Oh. Or maybe <laughs> that comes with the DLC that goes into Russia. It, it was a city bus. Alright. Oh, they got uh, stuck there, so. Mm. Oh, I see a name on the map. So I turn it off. Huh. What was the city bus? I didn't catch that. Uh, I don't know. Some kind of Russian bus, city bus that got stuck at a checkpoint. I think it was Elias. Bus stream. Maybe. I, I don't know Russian buses and. Yeah. It looked like the. If you know Volvo 5000 from Transport Fever, it looked similar to that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I can tell you. I think that's the Lias. Could be. 54. Lias, Maz, Paz. Hmm. Yes, all of those. Random Kra letter with a Z. Kras. Oh, that one was a really quick <laughs> one. <laughs> that border crossing. Like, the barrier yeah. went up pretty much as soon as I pressed return. <laughs> like it's supposed to. Hmm. <laughs> Same here. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice to, uh, when you actually get back to trains again, Charlize. Mm -hmm. Stream Definitely. yet? I wonder if you'll do streams where you work on the 465. Um, I don't know. Probably not. If I if I were more confident in my trains train asset, 
making skills, then probably, but at the moment, at any point, I could run into an issue that needs hours of work to try to debug and resolve. So I don't think it would be a good idea to stream that. Yeah, maybe. Unless, of course, I had experts in the chat to help me solve <laughs> the issues, in which case it would be a great idea to stream that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of issues? No, just, it, just random issues, errors, or just something not working, or... Some oh. just, just general issues with with making the uh, the oh. custom train. The oh, I see. I mean, if no time was in chat, or yeah, but he doesn't no have no time. time mostly no time, mostly reskins, but and and he tends to model like some bits mm. as well to the engines because uh, what prisoner made you might remember the class two forty. Yes, definitely. Uh, no, the one that looks very Russian, so obviously Czechoslovak. Yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah. what uh, No Time has done with that is that uh, there were some inaccuracies to the actual real life counterparts on some of them. Mm -hmm. As in missing mirrors and different pantographs or boogies and stuff like that. Boogies, yeah. So yeah, he, he went through that, added those kind of stuff but as for scripting I would say the best person to ask is me Ka <laughs> I would say the best person to ask is me Ka <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, because uh, he basically scripted up the entire engine there the, the, the new script that it has is made by Mika oh I see so yeah, you got the interactive tables there, you can just click on and it will start up the engine for you and stuff like that. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's what he made, but I mean, Prisoner and Zefek are also good people to ask regarding this, because, I mean, they all made trains and different other assets as well, so... Mm -hmm. Honestly, yeah. I think any kind of issue you run into, you can just like post it into the content creation channel we have on VIP voice server. And I think they will be able to answer you. Yeah, but of course you cannot speak for mm -hmm. them. No, of course, of course, yeah. no, I can't. Yeah. But it's, a, it's a good tip anyway. Mm -hmm. But like most of the... Like, I, I don't intend to make the train <laughs> advanced, at least not right away. Like, um, at the moment, it's just... Get, I'm just trying to get a rudimentary cab working. So I've got the speedometer yeah. working. And... Brake gauges? Yeah, the brake gauges are a bit... Uh, well, a bit tricky to pull off because the braking system, the air brake system in trains is based on the Westinghouse air brake system, which of course <laughs> the British EMUs <laughs> don't use. Anymore. So... I've... I'm kind of looking to see what would kind of fit the best out of, like what would give you input on how strongly you're braking in the cab. I'm mm. trying that. And it did get the, ga the gauges to move for that as well. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the last thing that I, I worked on because then I finished the... MBR. Well, I finished the building stuff on the MBR. And so then all my my train's development time has gone into polishing up the MBR. And so I haven't really yeah. had time to work on the train in that yeah. Um um I don't think that the brakes, the the engine the prisoner made is I, I like I don't think it's using Westinghouse brakes. Uh, because like it's got several different positions depending on what stage of uh, driving or yeah. stationary and stuff like well, that you are mm -hmm. at. Yeah, well, I'm using the combined power brake handle mm -hmm. feature for the train. Then yeah. for that, what you kind of want to do is that when you... Uh, put into the brake mode, you kind of want to put in dynamic brakes. 
automatically mm -hmm. and prisoners engine like the script that they have is doing exactly that as well like the moment you apply brakes the dynamic brake kicks in as well and disables at a certain speed mm -hmm. leaving only air brakes not sure how uh, the engineer making works I can't even remember the number was it 325? Uh, 465 yeah 465 yeah it's okay. an e third rail EMU yeah yeah that one I remember the number now so yeah <laughs> um but yeah, I mean. Hold on, what's you, that you car doing, ask, Eagle? Yeah. What's that car doing behind you? Uh. <laughs> what do you mean? They were... Yes. Did you see what I mean? I mean, it's just overtaking me, so of course I I see what you mean. <laughs> like it's it, <laughs> in, the, in this left-hand curve with a single solid stripe going down the middle. It. Decided to <laughs> just Did it? There, yeah, there wasn't even a car directly yep. in front of it. It just decided to go on the wrong lane for ages. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, the train. But yeah, I mean, if if you ask the guys, I think they will be willing to help you mm. with all like the different complexities. Yeah. Oh, Mar but see, Mark as well. Yeah. But but see, I, yeah, Mark what I well. what what I want is I want the brakes to react quickly. If you put on the brake, I want the brake pressure to well the brakes to apply quickly. If you release it, I want the brakes to release very quickly. Which of course in trains That is absolutely possible. Is it? Yeah, yes. that's physically impossible. In trains. If it is possible to happen in trains, yes. Cause I've seen it happen with some models that were outdated and broken. And like had their values probably skewed up by all the updates and stuff. So it's absolutely possible to set the value to something, or to set value of something into something, to make that kind of thing happen. Yeah, I was mm. thinking maybe if I played around with the flow rate values of the brakes, that might be yeah, that, it. Yeah, that could absolutely be it. Perhaps. I'm not well versed into scripting uh, yeah. in trains, so can't really <laughs> tell you what is what. Mm, no, but no, no. I guess yeah. there has to be some kind of flow rate, like you just mentioned. So I guess playing around with that will give you the desired mm. effect. But yeah, I mean, but like, I mean, this is my first ever train, and at this point, as long as it kind of feels like how I want it to feel. You're happy. I'm happy with it, even if it's not 100% realistic or anything like that at this point. Yeah, Maybe fair enough. One thing I, I need have fuel. to say... Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. One thing that I feel like I need to say that if you ask Mika for help, uh, do know that he is German and do know that he is completely willing to script the most complex stuff for you. <laughs> Even if you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the see the thing is, I don't want him to script anything for me. I want to figure out how it works so that I, I can then build the yeah. skill to actually do it myself. Yeah, but I mean, still, he he is absolutely gonna be able to help you out because he is quite knowledgeable in this stuff. Something surprises me, and the others as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, let's wait for American Gamer to come. Oh, there he is. Right there. there. Okay, right. But yeah, I mean, sure, guys, considering, well, now that you are on SP5, um, I guess you could test the catenary if it works yeah. for you. And if it does, then maybe you could try out some Central Europe sessions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, well, although I did want to have a look at Cornish Railways again after Marky's done all those updates to it. And Polaris. Oh, yes. yeah. oh yeah, that as well. Yeah, Jesus, so there's so many. <laughs> I, I have already got stuff that I want to look at, but the thing is, at the moment, with the MVR, I I really just want to get it done. Yeah, understandable. So. <laughs> it's been years, literally three years at this point. Yep. I bet that if you watch the the first my like my first train stream and then my last stream, my beard probably has grown a couple inches in that time. <laughs> <laughs> Not just your beard; the hair is gonna be more noticeable. Mm. Well, the beard is hair. 
Yeah. Wait, Fair your enough. beard is made of hair? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna speed off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, ah, my eyes. I'm blind. <laughs> I mean, you you wanted to speed off, so. Oh, I'm no, speeding as fast as I can. You're speeding. No. Oh. <laughs> also, my dash. I accidentally activates the parking brake. Mm. <laughs> the dashboard actually says that I'm still in neutral gear, even though I'm very clearly in drive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't really know much anything of train scripting anyway. I've only done I've only ever done repaints for trains, which, I mean, is more than most users. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't. There's not much scripting. You just basically need to. Well, you need to change. You the need to be good with an image editor. Of course, but yeah, mm. with, about the scripting, you need to just change some KUIDs. So for like, if you reskin bogies or wheels or the interior of an asset, you just need to swap those out basically for, as the dependencies for the locomotive or slash tender, if it applies. Um, but that's basically it. Like you need to change the description, mm. the uh, name of the asset, of course. But yeah. Yeah. The most complex scripting that I've ever done is just changing traffic on print hello world a road. <laughs> it's just changing uh, traffic right on a road and making a uh, region for the game. Oh, yeah. That's about it. I've tried that isn't, as well. As isn't well that some point. isn't that part of the same asset though? Uh no. Uh, well, what I mean by traffic rate is that every oh, single spine, roads, you mean. yeah, every single uh. spine that you can support traffic, you know, it's got a spawn rate of the traffic, and that's what I edited along with speeds. Which is why those uh, NBS Plus or whatever they're called roads actually work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, just so you guys know, I am in Hungary. Oh. Good yeah. for you. Well, you can stop and get there a snack. <laughs> we are about to pass a border crossing back into Croatia. Rumisbath says, uh, Can we have daylight again? Can go, LEDs. The, sea, the nice scenery is gone. Arrows. Yeah, I've enabled the LEDs. Eagle, you could skip time. There's a parking space here, so we park up and I'm gonna skip the time so that you guys get flashbanged equally at the same time. Well, if you go, if you skip back or, to five or something, like you did previously, you or like how how many hours would it skip if you slept? Uh, you you don't sleep in convoy. Like no, but I mean in single out. player. In single player, if you slept, eight hours. Eight hours. Yeah, I thought okay. that was the case as well. You could exit the convoy, sleep, host it again, and have people join again. No, it's gonna take a long time for you guys to have that appear again. Yeah, maybe. Currently, it's 22.22 in game, so... That would be like, what, two hours? Yeah, it'd be six, six in hours. the morning. Oh, six, so if I set it to five, it's gonna pass seven hours. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Have you all parked up? <laughs> I mm -hmm. am, currently. Uh, sure. Thank you. Ah, that's a lot brighter than it was when we started. Interesting. <laughs> Room yeah. says, Hey, Kango, don't speak like a bus through. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Room the mockery. Oh, shit, that's a car. <laughs> oh, shit, uh, that's a truck. Room says, Thank you very much. I still hit it. Uh, um, well, I still hit the truck. <laughs> the thing was directed at the eagle. <laughs> Huh? Rumspa thanks you. You're welcome. <laughs> That'll be five dollars. <laughs> Only it's my you stream. Yeah. Oh, I, yes, oh, five dollars is the guys... to can go. Hmm? I didn't realize you guys were still back there. Yeah, I just saw. Yeah, well, we parked we'll to, uh, up to sleep. Can you spend five quid, mate? Since we lost that boss sponsorship, that's a bit tough. <laughs> huh. Wait, sure guys, how much did I send you last time? I forgot, was it 10? It was 10, yeah. 
open TCP. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, actually, speaking of OpenTTD... I was thinking about OpenTTD recently as well as... I know, I heard in your video. <laughs> I mean... I had to redo the map like five times because of all the different mods and just to make it all work since like the 1920s. Hmm. Yeah. I, like... Are you still going to have the major cities and towns be manually placed? Or not? Um, I mean, right now they are randomly placed, but like, majority of them line up with real world cities, though they don't line up with size. So what I've been thinking of doing is that I'm just gonna use the randomly placed ones to grow them out a little in the editor and rename them. Mm hmm Okay. Interesting. But is that really faster than manually placing them? Why yes, because they're already placed. Eagle, that police car that you're, you're that you're about to pass is huge. The size is wrong. It's like double the normal size. That is really strange. It's oh as my wide God. as my bus. It is. It's as what wide. <laughs> it's as wide as my bus. Oh wow! It's That's meant, um... It's meant to intimidate. <laughs> Like you don't, yeah. you don't mess around in this country. We, our police cars are the size of trucks. It's a bus. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it's so big though, really. Yeah. Damn. That's and if we are in Croatia, I'm just gonna ask Svedar if the police cars are actually that big. <laughs> <laughs> if only Svedar yeah, drives the to make, to make you scared. BGI, what did you say, sorry? They're basically dummies to make you they're afraid to speed. Is that oh that? yeah, absolutely. Ego, that... Ego, you can come front. I don't know where we're going. That's yep. so strange. And give me a moment. <laughs> I need to overtake the bus here. Sure. Whenever you hear my horn, does it feel like you're playing Omzi too? No, it feels like my ears want to fall off. And same goes for my horn. <laughs> oh. I don't know why, but like, they're quite screechy. Hmm. I'll, I'll probably have to, like. Mm, I don't you mean know. your ears? I don't know what horn? I can do with that. The horn. Um. Anyways, I believe now that was like the last of the. Um, the narrow roads, the country roads, now it's just gonna be a highway all the time. Ah. Until we reach Slovakia, so yeah. Fairly high speed limit, who wants to overtake and overtake? We're just Me. pretty much going on the highway. <laughs> Whoa. Although the speed limit here is 60. Ah, then it goes up. It's 80. It just, it just went up to 80, yeah. Hey, the speed limit's 80, not 5. <laughs> 85? Come turn off here. Oh, that's high. <laughs> yeah. A lot of border crossings. Uh huh. Yep. Small countries. Dbus. That are not in the EU. Wait, what? Small countries that are not in the EU. That's why you have so many border crossings. Mm -hmm. Yes. And not in the Schengen space. Yep. Oh, I can just go. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, one of the rules that I have, well, one of the unwritten rules that I have for recordings uh, of off stream that uh, Kango played with me yesterday is that when you need to stop, you simply take the lead 
Mm-hmm. And, the, and everyone just follows the leading vehicle. So when you need to decelerate to the point of stopping, you actually first have to accelerate to overtake some everybody. Yes. Interesting. It works out quite well because, well, as I said, I don't like any kind of like hard overlay in my videos and interface and stuff uh-huh. like that. And while I, while it is possible, a thing that uh, the Steam overlay and the Discord overlay does not appear on the video, um, so I can read the messages, but you know, all tabbing and typing out the message. Hey, can we stop at the next rest stop? You know, that's quite annoying. So. Basically, a nice little rule of thumb is that the leading vehicle is basically the vehicle that everyone follows. So if there is some kind of emergency, like need to stop for fuel and something like that, sleep, fuel, repair, stop, you know, they just overtake and uh, yes, but just what, follow. Hmm. But what if the vehicle, what if you need to stop because the vehicle is so damaged and you need to repair and you can't overtake because it's so damaged? In that case, the vehicle uses the F7 menu to move to a uh, truck st- uh, to a repair stop to get services, and you know, simply message me or you no. Know, yeah, I am now in your walls. Start running. No, thank you. Anyways, simply message, and uh, you know, I will see it on the overlay that you know you've have to teleport you are now in blah 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 you know mm. and from there i mean if you look on the map you will see whether you have the ability of uh, coming in front of us or whether we need to wait for you if you're behind us yeah Makes sense. So, yeah, speaking you know, of repairs i gotta understood. go repair my truck <laughs> there were some interestingly mm-hmm. located cars on that turn off yeah Hmm. Does that have anything to do with the fact that you need to repair by chance? Quite possibly. <laughs> mm. I'm looking. I have how many? How much? How much damage do you have? Can go. What? I'm waiting. Yeah, you stopped right in front of me. I couldn't go. I'm waiting. I was waiting for American Gamer to head out. <laughs> How much uh, damage do you have? American. About 20%. Okay, that's not that that's bad. That's nothing. So... Yeah. I'm, just, I'm slow. I'm going to be slow. Yes. Fair enough. I'll, I'll be keeping slow. I'm actually just gonna mm. wait up here on the. I've I've played delivery detective with like sixty or seventy percent damage. Said. Yeah. <laughs> um. There isn't. Oh, my game crashed. Oh. What? Oh, the bus. Ah! There's a. a b- I'm no. so not. No. Oh no. Oh, slayer mission. I'll be right back. Sure. Right. Was, like, I have all... no idea when the last autosave was. Hmm. As soon as it happened, well, I just saw a bus kind of drifting towards me sideways Literally. as it was desyncing. <laughs> all of the ve- as soon as the game crashed, all the vehicles just maintained their current Orientation. velocity. I was just drifting in, in just. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mhm. In the meanwhile, please remain kind. So it seems I'm not the only one who has crashes due to m- too little memory. Well, we don't know what caused. I have 64 crash. gigabytes of memory. That was definitely not a memory crash. Hmm. Hmm. Then it means must have been a map crash. Map crash. Because normally my game runs at 60 plus, so there isn't a memory issue. It, yeah. Or it same. could be one of a thousand different things. Sometimes yeah, ETS2 just, just crashes on its own. Does it? Yeah, and I mean, when you have as many mods as we do, you know, on top of pro mods, and yeah. Is the uh, server back up? Uh, I'm still loading in. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go repair my truck real fast then. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. 
Because I was looking just on the map to scout ahead if there was a repair shot that we could take. But I wanted yeah, to say that the next. next... Yeah, I want to say that the next city there isn't one at Pest. There is. Uh, in, the I it. in the east. Of the city. Jack? Oz Jack? P E C S. Basically. Yeah. I have no yeah, idea. On the right. Wasn't, it pronounced, wasn't the destination name pronounced Kosice? Uh, yes. Yeah, so it's pronounced like that. We're talking yeah, about different, almost. A different. We're talking about a different city, though. Yep. Yeah. If we turned right onto the highway, there would have been a repair shop right there. Yeah. By Osijek, or whatever that is. But yeah, it's basically why I asked about the damage as well to know whether he would go directly there right. now or whether we could just take the next one mm -hmm. and 20% is like yeah you can we can just take the next one so I want so while you guys were far behind me I wanted to stop and look at the map to scout ahead mm -hmm. where the next possible repair shop is convoy is up again nice interesting there is they added additional uh, name tags on the in Austria, like for, for cities, which aren't there in base game, but I don't think any of the roads are different. Like Winkleren, mm. Bischofshof, Bischofshofen, Saalfelden, Amstein, and Meer. Like in the in the west of Austria. Now that is a that's a good name. What? <laughs> uh, whatever it was, Amstein and Meer. Oh. It was Saalfelden am yeah. Steinernen Meer. Saalfelden am Steinernen Meer. Which means, like, this Steinern means made of stone, and Meer means sea or ocean. And so. Saalfelden by the stone ocean. Yeah, and Felden. Feld means field. So, a Saal field by the stone ocean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm quite far ah. back. Well, yeah, well, it's 5 a.m. again. And for me, uh, well, the conversation you're joining is no longer active. I think I need to refresh. Yeah, refresh it. But it, it was 3 a.m. The Yeah, when I don't know um, why. So yeah, I had to skip time again. So that's why it's 5. So will you teleport back to where we were? I'm driving. It's not that far. Okay. Only a few hundred kilometers. Yes. Oh, oh no. and now mine crashed. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is that time of the Although, day? Although, funnily enough, mine crashed when I opened the map and zoomed in. Maybe it's a bug with the map. Yeah. It could be, because I zoomed it's, in as it's well. Fine. Yeah. It's really strange. So, people, do not open the map. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can open the map, just don't zoom in. Mm. And I believe I had these exact same problems when I was running Promod's Middle East. When I zoomed in on the map, it just the game just crashed. I seriously hope that the progress was saved. Downloading update information. Please wait. That shouldn't be important really but i think Cancel? that's just the, i think it's just the change log that you can look at hmm. like what's new at the bottom right which they added loading steam inventory items hmm. oh yeah by the way how how do you guys like the new steam overlay um i haven't really played with it too much considering that on my old os the uh, hold on. Internal error loading Steam inventory content. Okay. That's the first time. <laughs> and yeah, it okay. keeps telling me the Conway is not no longer active when I try to join, even oh. after refreshing. Uh, is this the okay. latest one? I guess, yeah. 
it would be a I can try relaunching the game, maybe that'll fix it. Yeah, hmm. I think that's gonna be a better option. But yeah, I mean, personally, Wait. I didn't see any issues with the old Steam overlay that needed to be fixed. And so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, now it's starting to download as soon as I've closed the game. It's like with the, like with a lot hmm. of apps that get updated, or even OS that, that gets updated, when they, it's like, okay, we've had this user interface for the last 15 years. Now we need to make it look new and flashy again. They simplify, make it streamlined and actually make it much worse to work with because... Those who are yeah. used to it worked well no, with the old one. Not, not just used to it, actually making functions far more difficult mm. to access and to use. I like the new Steam UI. Yeah, ju I mean, generally, I mean, what Sherry just said, yeah, that generally applies to pretty much like almost every update that I've ever seen. Hmm. But what I really have to say is that Steam has really outdone themselves with this update. Oh, that's good. Now, now when you just you know open the overlay, you have everything in there. You don't need to like scout around to find something like you can directly access the workshop you can directly ah. access browser messages guides you know everything on the bottom has its own separate button and well, that sounds really good yeah it's it's very nice now nah, well that's a pleasant Connected surprise screenshots then. steam workshop dlc discussions <laughs> guides notes you can make <sighs> notes now for the games game mm -hmm. change detected please select quick travel destination mm -hmm. Settings. Budapest, and then just fly back and teleport. I don't... Wait, does she have the console? Yeah. I enabled it. Okay, then... I mean... Is the Budapest the closest city he yes, has unlocked? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm now, I'm now back in the game. I'll try to join the convoy again. Alright. You guys are, are barely at Budapest. I'm like 20 kilometers away from the destination. Yeah, but you're in a car doing 130 and or more on the fucking highway, considering how we know you drive. And on top of that, well, we are waiting for each other because it, it's a convoy. Why and, are those well, mods you're not alone. found? Uh, which ones? What's going on? Hold on. Um, you're not... Hmm. It's... Uh, where it's, uh, when I click on the server, most of the mods, it says not found. Uh, okay, there might mods? be the error. Try. I would say try relaunching your game as well. Well, that's... you've gotten the error. Why right, mod missing you... this? I'll I'll just I'll I'll close the game and relaunch. It. Relaunch Steam maybe. Yeah. What's gonna be? I have arrived in Kosica. Hmm. Hmm. Congratulations. Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh, and fun fact by the way, guys, just so you know. Both in real life and in game, uh, at uh, I think past midnight, uh, in most European countries, the traffic lights stop working. They just flash amber, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> That's the accurate, guys. Just so you know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Some of the ones here in the UK do that as well. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I have seen that. I think oh, yeah. on the on the twelve. Maybe yeah. Uh, traveling from Newton Abbott. Bruce Bath posts a link to Stein and his mere. Wikipedia. The Stein and his mere, literally Rocky Sea, is a high karst plateau in the northern Limestone Alps. As one of the nine sub ranges of the Berchtesgaden Alps, the Stein and his mere belongs partly to Bavaria and partly to Salzburg. I see. It's the Alpen Gloon as well. Yeah, for some reason your game isn't showing up for me, Eagle. And we're at that point again. Wonderful. <laughs> uh. Oh man. Unfortunate. So. But yeah. Might as well show people the new MAN truck while waiting oh, on stream. So that's the old one. 
that's been in the game literally since it released. Uh, MANTGX05. I can't really see it if it's grey, but like that, yeah. That interior. And the new one that just released a few weeks ago is Euro 06. With this, uh, well, yeah. I, mm, I like that. See, I don't know. Is, is it downloading <coughs> something in the background, maybe? I can't Actually, tell. I know. Because the thing is, when I updated, because I'm running the old oh. OS still, um, yeah. on this computer, when I updated Steam, for when, when, the, when the Steam got mm. updated, now with a new UI, the library and downloads pages are just completely black. For me and so i can't see if it's downloading or what is going uh, on i had a bug on the old one on the old ui hmm i think it's just incompatible Air. operating system in this case yeah because for kango it's all fine yeah and mm. the old steam had issues as well yeah that the store didn't work yeah but the library and downloads pages still worked great yeah it's the inverse before the store was broken and only the library worked, and now the store works fine, but the library doesn't. Mm. Yeah, as well as the downloads page. If it is the same bug that I think it is, like I had that ca I had that happen on my laptop when I was moving uh, from one Wi-Fi to another when I was still going to for work in Germany. And stuff oh, like yeah. that. It it did that. That it just was black download screen. Mm. Uh, it, the way I found to go get around it was uh, funnily enough to enable big picture mode. Oh, yeah, but that is interesting. Although for shared is the entire top row of buttons like store library, the the arrows like the back and forward community. Yeah. All of that is black. It's you like the, the it. entire window mm. co is completely black. Oh, okay. It's a black rectangle. It's probably different. Uh, mm. Hmm. Yeah, I... Just continue without me. I don't think I'll be able to come back in anytime soon. What's going on currently? I think it might be downloading because when I right click and try to start it, it won't start. So I think that it's probably downloading. Do you something. want to try big picture mode? Ah, that's gone into full screen. Can you close the app? I don't know, I think there's some sort of a... Let's see. Has, oh, has that now remembered big picture mode? Oh no. Well, I can probably just switch and right click to get out of it. But yeah, just go, co continue without me. Mm. Basically. Oh, Vijaya says, right hour after the destination. I'm head out. See you all next time. Sure, you're of all the left yeah. BC. But yeah, thanks for coming. Interesting. Eagle, is the convoy up currently, or...? It is indeed up. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just wanted to... I, I just turned on big picture mode as well, just just, just, just to, like, check. Um, it's completely different from <laughs> what I've had last time. Mm. Um, Actually, yeah. it is starting. The game's Great. starting now. Yay. Um, uh, oh, boy. I can't see the convoy though. Uh, is this? No, hold on. Yeah, technical difficulties, oh everyone. Oh boy. Should be the first result, really, but it's not. It's just a blank. Blank thing. Now it's gone. Nah, 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 nah. Legal game. There it is. Exit big picture. There we go. <laughs> Wait, how do I get out? No! <laughs> yeah, that's basically I, it. Make sure that when you escape the the, the pig picture mode, you don't fall in lava. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
Vijaya says, Elisa, we arrived and going back home. See you on Monday. Bye bye until you, until then. Disconnected. Bye. Indeed. Mm. Yes, yeah, so have you heard? With one with Minecraft, one point twenty obviously came out, and then a couple of days later, one point twenty point one, and now they're already working on fixing bugs for one point twenty point two. <laughs> yeah. Should someone else try to host this time? Because I Eagles game isn't showing up for me anymore for some reason. Should I try to host? Yeah, I guess you can. Okay, optional mods as well as, or well, mods in general, of course, are on. Okay, I've hosted the console. Just try, I'll just click drive so that I'm actually in the game. As a loading screen. Um, but yeah. Also, did you hear the news about Discord? Which ones? Uh, the news about the like the VC activity is being free forever. I have no idea. Because they. <laughs> They did, uh, I don't know, a few months ago, maybe last year, I don't know. They introduced like sort of party games, like mini games oh, I know. to the VC. And for Discord's birthday this year, they had them freely available for a month. So everyone could play them. And it was supposed, that officer was supposed to end yesterday. But uh, like two days before, they made an announcement saying. Uh, we've had way too much fun th these past few weeks, and so we've decided to uh, make them free forever, basically, for everyone. And oh, that's nice. Yeah, and I think Charles, you s <laughs> you said that it might be because of the username change thing that so many people are leaving yeah, Discord. Yeah, like a, a consolation. Yeah, basically, like so many people are leaving Discord. Are they though? I I've heard. That people have been fed up with Discord's changes yeah, for a while but now. Yeah, what's the alternative, really? I mean, I'll bust through did post Skype, Teamspeak, Facebook. Yeah, but how? But like, there's a lot. Yeah, but I'll bust through post with the Revolt mm. one, which basically is a Discord clone, as far as uh, I've seen. I see. Um, mm. Yeah, and also I I'm not driving. The convoy's up, by the way. Yeah, Promos is still loading. Mm. Yeah, but. I think I think you might be right, Charles, that so many people are leaving now because the username change was like the last straw for them. They're just now I'm leaving. But if they just say no, VC activities with mini games, with party games, they're free now, that they may think, uh sure I'll just stay around then. You have convinced like me the with the mini golf. Two, feels like in the last two yeah. or three weeks, like every single website is just going to shit. Because I mean Hey, now Discord with the usernames, people are once again just having enough with it. Reddit is basically killing third-party applications mm. for itself. So that, that's driving a lot of people away as well, closing down subreddits. And Twitch as well with their policy changes is just driving away their streamers as well to different... What policy know. changes are you referring to? Uh, the ones that uh, was, I, I don't know, like two or three days ago regarding sponsorships. Ah. Uh, Alright. Because most of the big streamers, like, uh, depend on the sponsorships to make money and stuff like that. Mm. And Twitch started to, like, limit it with some crazy policies. I'm not exactly, like, I, I don't remember 100% like what they were, but, like, uh, basically setting limits as to how big the sponsorship can be and like uh, what can you actually sponsor and stuff like that I like mm -hmm. some 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 ridiculous micromanaging bullshit uh. <laughs> that just yeah draw a lot of people off and there there's already uh, I think XQC Do you guys know him no nope. no I believe hey, it was uh, the it's, co what? it's what's the name in the server? It's stream underscore Kango Fango. It's the old name. Oh, we're going back there. Hmm. But yeah, like quite a big streamer. Excuse me, I think he does like some uh, 
first person shooters and stuff like that mm. uh, he I believe it was him could have been uh, maybe Aspen Gold I'm not sure uh, signed contract with another streaming platform for 100 million already apparently that's the rumor so <clears throat> yeah and quite a lot of big streamers already pretty much said that they are looking for alternatives to Twitch Hmm. So yeah, like for some weird reason, these three websites, Twitch, Reddit, and Discord, just like the last two, three weeks are just destroying well, themselves. Yeah. It's crazy. It almost feels orchestrated. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot find your session whatsoever. Me can go. Mm. Odd. Sessions with optional mods and sessions with mods is on. Yep. Uh, tell you what, I'll try uh, hosting. Okay. Is it worth it considering the time? Uh, I mean, we can try. It might. It might. Go, hmm. You might can. You maybe can connect quickly. So my game is of course called Shadowdice Stream with a space bar. Yeah. Should I stream despite the fact that you're not streaming? Yes, that's the that's the point. That's the <laughs> joke. I'm still loading in. I, I clicked drive, so... Yeah, yeah, just this, in that case, yeah. I'll close the session. If that doesn't work... And oh. now I see both of you. How wonderful ah. of this game. <laughs> well, Kaios just closed his, so join the Shardice one. No, don't yet. If you're on the loading screen, it may throw you out immediately. Yeah, I just got in and uh, it just crashed. Okay, well, I'm now in. Uh, where, where are you currently? Uh, Budapest? Oh, yeah. And I don't... Where I stream? And I don't even have my... I don't even have my cargo. Oh, damn it. <sighs> yeah, that's right, because Tele you had the... Mm. Teleport back, Shardice. Try oh, that. One. Just enable the map, F5, then just zoom all the way out. Just press oh, F5 a few. One... Press F5 a few times. Yeah, like that. Not um, even an autosave will work. 8, 4, 6, 2, it's numpad. And 9 and 3 goes up and down, apparently. Just figure it out. So you just fly over there. Okay, so where were you? We were down here somewhere, I think? Yeah, where Eagle is. Where the other is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't load all the assets when you're that far up. You just have to... Actually, yeah, apparently it does. Share a stream. There it is. Pass there. So where were we exactly? Uh, Zoom in with the map again. Press a 5 again. We just entered, like, Hungary. Like, well, almost. I mean, right there is fine. Yeah, I think I went in... Ah, for fuck... Mm. You can scroll I down. Again. Scroll... I know, I know, I know. Yeah. How does one teleport? You uh, control F nine. No, go further toward the ground that you're right, literally right on the ground. So the truck oh, doesn't does fall it spawn down. The truck does it spawn the bit, wheels where I yeah, am? Yeah, little bit. It? Yeah, a little bit further down, like that. Basically, alt set the camera on the ground. Yes, alt function F nine should work. I've stopped. I've stopped the recording because that again just crashed again, work. and yeah, it's just not a good video. Uh, why does that not work? It's control function of nine. Oh. oh yeah, it is. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's fine. Well, I mean, I'm here. I'm right up ahead. Yeah, I think my truck's in the condition. No. That's odd. It's remembered the fuel that I used. But I don't have the job, and I know for a fact it's not the condition that it was before the stream because it, it, I had damage before I the know. stream. I know it was because something about the mods. It didn't recognize the mods, so it said reset to like you can choose the city you want to reset to, and that quick travel cancelled the job. I don't know what happened with the mods. It sh shouldn't have. I mean, you had all the mods active. You didn't deactivate them, so it's just a strange bug, which happened apparently. 
But yeah, I'm waiting right here for others to arrive. That is right behind. So you're trying to reconnect, Eagle? No, the game crashed again. Uh, okay, so are we gonna then end the stream here? Because, like, we've only got a few minutes left. And yeah, we're not finishing that cargo on time. Yeah, plus I don't even have a cargo anymore. So yeah. from my point oh, of view. Oh, Rumus what says we need a thumbnail. Yeah, that's nice and all, but I'm not gonna be spending another 10 minutes refreshing the convoy list waiting for hmm. the convoy to appear. I mean, there was a very nice bit where we drove on earlier, which... Yeah, the other players yeah. weren't on the you screen. You don't have to have everybody on there. Yeah, those. it's perfectly okay. Okay. I mean, it'll still say multiplayer convoy, so people will know that it is multiplayer. Yep. Well, that's an, un an unfortunate end to the stream, but the stream itself was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could do one round of scribble at IO. Nah. Mm. I don't even have any time remaining left on the cargo as well, so I mm. would have had the massive penalty anyways. People. Because all, the, all of the time skips. Yeah. People, like that, that's like the problem uh, with well, this. Mm, yeah, but well, so. Mm, maybe if you accepted the cargo, like if you if you. If that if the we've got the correct time, then if you accept the cargo, and then you only load in when we actually connect, so that we can get started right away. Although that might be di difficult to time, considering how long it can take for people to connect. It could be difficult to time, yes, but also the fact that, you know, if I skip time, the cargo might despawn. Mm. But sure. I mean, what, what I think the best solution would be instead is to just do shorter jobs. Yeah. That is true. So if it crashes sometime near the end, it's not the entire thing that's cancelled, it's just the last yeah, one. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing, Sharadice? Not much of anything. Made it to Hungary. Bashing about? No. See, it didn't collide. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna... Uh, I've almost caught up to you. No. It doesn't matter. I'm over there. Yeah. Come on. Well, I'll, let's... There really is no point in continuing the stream at this point. But no. you've driven away. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Roosevelt says you started late. That is a point. 30 minutes. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Shadow dies. Hmm? Hello. Hello. But hey, at least it's not as frustrating as when Minehut have issues. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how close I am. Yes, almost like I could reach over and touch you. Oh. Uh, what I've been thinking, um, a good thing I say would be to uh, get like, I don't know, like until the end of uh, June we can do convoys and then in July we hop back into open TTD. Maybe. I would say that would be quite good. Hmm. Considering the fact that uh, I'm basically going on vacation in September for three weeks. All right. Ooh. So yeah. But the thing is, it's not like vacation, vacation, as I more or less would pl rather plan on actually staying where I'm going. Oh, I see. So actually moving there, but yeah, so yeah. So I guess it mm -hmm. would be better to start. 
sometime soon. Yeah, sounds good. Hmm. Well, imagine. Anyways, if... do you... <laughs> Go ahead. There's a... I've managed to snatch a screenshot from the video I recorded of today. Oh okay. yeah, that's good. Nice. Imagine if they released Open TT three. <laughs> And then mm -hmm. it's Windows only, DirectX 12, doesn't run virtual machines, and lags horrendously. No. Charles, okay. your seats don't have a rear face. Do, do you, hey, your, your seats don't have faces on the back of them either. <laughs> but Kaldi does. Anyway, I'll disconnect yeah. now, if that's okay for everybody to close the stream. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Might as well at this point. Yep. Okay. Unable to authenticate a connection to the host. I wonder why. Um, Groomersbot says, thanks for the nice stream. You're welcome. It was that one, yes? Yeah. Okay. Right, so... I suppose... Bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Indeed. Thanks for coming. Yep. Bye. 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 Have fun. Stay safe. Indeed. Goodbye.